Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a ton of mascaras to go over with you guys, probably like over 20 or around 20. Let's go ahead and get started because I need to start getting rid of these. They're just like cluttering my entire house. That's how it feels. Super dramatic, but that's the way it is. Guys, the CK1 mascara we got from like Ulta as a birthday gift last year and I used it in 2015. Um, these mascaras are from 2015, FYI. Love this mascara. I know it's high end, it's pricey, but I absolutely love it. It's a nice long wand. It does have uh, evenly spaced plastic bristles and they're a little bit shorter. But the thing is on the tip, you could twist and you can make them short and like a chubby little thing for uh, thickening, really coating your lashes and then you let it back out so it's like long and skinny and this really defines them, combs through, separates them, really adds length. So this was like the best like two in one. Love this. This is a mascara I would buy again. I don't really like to buy high end mascara because it's high end and there are so many great drugstore ones, but this was a great, great mascara. I am using the Flower Beauty one, which has a similar technique, so I'll be able to compare it next time. Um, I also have the Voluminous Miss Manga. This was in black brown. I got this like early last year. Um, this has like a very, very flexible, you know, it has like a little divot in here so that you can actually bend this. I really did like this. It did create like very feathery fanned out lashes. I was upset that I accidentally got black brown, um, but it was actually a really nice mascara. The hype is so gone with this now, like no one talks about it, but I do think it's a good mascara and I do recommend it. Um, one that I wasn't a huge fan of is this Aero Volume Mascara from Avon. This was supposed to kind of create like tubes around your lashes and lengthen. Um, it did a fine job, you know, but it just wasn't amazing. And I, you guys know I love mascaras. I do really like this wand. Um, it kind of has the bristles going out in three segments, like, you know, kind of like a triangular formation, but I like this wand and how, see how like tightly packed the bristles are and they're longer and thicker and they're real bristles, they're not plastic. I really did like that. I felt like it did cling to my lashes. It coated them evenly, spaced out, but the thing is it didn't add a lot of vavoom. It didn't add a lot of length. It was a nice mascara, um, but I just wasn't like thoroughly impressed with it. Um, you guys know how I feel about the roller lash. If you're new and you don't know, I love the Benefit Roller Lash. I got this as a sample from Ulta when my friend Jen was visiting last February. Fell in love, bought the full size. I did have like six or seven dollars off at Ulta. It does have a curved wand, shorter bristles on this side, longer bristles here, and the bristles are actually kind of crisscrossed a little bit, so they kind of interlock and wrap around your lashes, and you're supposed to do like a like get your lashes and curl the wand up. This is just like my all time favorite mascara. It is higher end, um, it's not Chanel, you know, but it, it is higher end, it's like 24 bucks or something like that, which is pretty ridiculous for mascara. But um, so, so nice. I just feel like my lashes were fluttery and long and super fanned out. It was great on my lower lashes. Love this mascara. Their Real was like my favorite in like 2013 or 14, I wanna say. This is a super lengthening mascara. And um, I whipped this out, cause I have a few samples and I just, I wasn't in love as I was before. It might be a little bit old, you know, even though it wasn't opened, um, but I did wanna try it. Now the directions for this guy, for the roller lash, did say to use them in conjunction to use this and then lengthen with this and that worked amazingly. So always check your instructions. Uh, the little pamphlets that come in there, they're there for a reason. Oh, this is the Clinique Bottom Lash. This was actually sent to me from a girlfriend of mine and it's a tiny little lower lash thing. I was keeping it forever and I finally was like, I know this expired, you need to get rid of it. it the, I mean, the wand is so, so, so small like super, super tiny. And this is the size of it, you know, but it's for your lower lashes. I really like this. It doesn't even smell, it's still wet. I still wanna use it, but I've had this for a very long time. Um, but I actually really like that. That's from Clinique. Now this is from Too Faced. It's the Better Than False Lashes Non-Lash Extension System. I don't know where the other part is. Maybe it's this, yeah. This is step two. And this is steps one and three. It's the activating mascara base and top coat. So you use this. This came in a set. 
maybe like in a like something with a you know the Too Faced holidays like palettes and I think maybe this came with it I don't know or maybe in the so I think this actually came in like the Sephora favorites kit that I got before you coat your lashes with this as like a base coat then you use this and then use this as a top coat um because this is like white fibers it doesn't matter what brand it is I just hate these fiber mascaras they get all over my makeup they fall off throughout the day they flake and they get in my contacts and I'm blind all day. So this was a huge fail for me. I also didn't see a huge difference in my lashes. So forget all those negatives. My lashes just looks like I had like a regular, a regular drugstore mascara, not even like an amazing drugstore mascara, just like a regular one. So this is from Model Co. Volumize. I want to say we got this in an Ipsy bag. This was, I, I can't really remember. I really like the brush. I like this like fat, you know, old school, regular bristle brush. Um, I don't, I, I feel like this just wasn't amazing and I don't even think I used this for three months. I use this like, I use this more than I wanted to, put it that way. I didn't want to use it and I would make myself use it. Now, oh, this sumptuous extreme. This is from Estee Lauder. This is another little sample size. It's the Lash Multiplying Volume Mascara in Extreme Black. I love this. I had a few samples. I love this. I'm going to set this aside so I can remember that uh, to write it in my planner that this is a mascara I love. I love this cone shaped really long wand. It defined. It was super lengthening and thickening. Loved that mascara. This is another one. This is we got this. I want to say in an Ipsy bag also. This is waterproof. Waterproof. It's from Pure Minerals and it's the Big Look Mascara with Argan Oil. Gorgeous packaging. It has like this textured raindrop effect here. Um, really weird brush. The bristles are super tightly packed. Really, really tiny. Um, it was actually really nice. It, it looked really nice on my lashes. It was separating and lengthening, not thickening. However, this was a pain in the arse to take off to be completely honest so um it just depends if you like that now this is from buxom i really did like that too this is the blackest black um it looks like this i don't know the name of it though unfortunately it has this really weird brush where it's like skinny and then fat um i really liked the formula of this and what it did for my lashes it was great but it was really hard to apply because of this like end piece i don't understand it i wouldn't buy it again just because it was it made it hard to apply the urban decay perversion was my favorite i think in 2014 so 2013's favorite must have been their real but this is another great urban decay mascara they do really good mascaras um and it has like a nice traditional wand. <laughs> I just really liked it. It's very thickening and like sultry looking in your lashes. So this is another one that I would go ahead and say definitely try it if you like trying, um, you know, a little bit more expensive mascaras. Uh, then these guys are from Tarte. We have the Lights Camera Flashes and the gold packaging, which is a long wand with like these plastic bristles. And then we have Lights Camera Lashes in the purple packaging, which is just a little more cone, like it's a little more cone shaped, like pointed at the end and it has shorter, uh, regular like bristles. And um, this, I really liked the wand a lot more, but it was just a little bit drying. I know people love these. I just, I don't know. I did like this and what it did for my lashes, but this wand was just kind of like too fat for me. So I don't know, the wand I liked, but it was too fat. And then the formula was just a little bit dry for me. So those weren't really things that I like loved. Uh, the Too Faced lash, lash Injections did come with one of the holiday kits. I did not like this at all. Uh, it didn't dry out. It was still good. And I was like, nope, I'm good. Uh, it's a, it's really wet. It's kind of cone shaped. You can see there. It has bristles that are in like a spiral. But I just felt like my lashes are here and it was just kind of going like, Whoo. it wasn't coating them. It wasn't staying. It wasn't lengthening or thickening or anything, anything. It was just not, I was not impressed with the lash injections from Too Faced, whatever. I wouldn't recommend that. The last three are drugstore. Uh, let me talk about this one. The Voluminous Butterfly Intenza from L'Oreal. I had the original butterfly. <sighs> I loved it. 
Now this has like two wings, butterfly wings. The original one, you know, was set up differently. This was okay. I felt like this kind of got all over the place. I was always getting it on my upper lid, sometimes like down here. It was just all over the place. I do like the original version of the butterfly uh, mascara from L'Oreal much more. Then the Scandalize Retro Glam from Rimmel. I hated the shape of this. I hate this shape. I can't get in the inner corners. Um, I could get the outer corners, but I couldn't get the inner corners. I, the bottom lash line was just difficult to get. I felt like I was always contorting my face and my head. Uh, I just, I love Rimmel mascaras. I especially love the Rimmel Accelerator. Amazing. But that, not so much. Then I have, let me talk about this one because I don't like this. This was... Um, another one of those fiber ones. I forgot the name of it. I'll put it across the screen. But, I again, same, same thing. You know, you have like this gel. See how it like drips? I'm not a fan of that formulation. Marc Jacobs mascara is like that also. Um, and then you have like the fibers here. At least these were black fibers. I hate white fibers. Um, but the, all over my contacts, this was pricier. Um, I just, ugh. and it came in like a nice case, which I could probably reuse for something. I don't know, but I'm just not a fan of those guys. I hate them. I hate them. The last one I wanted to leave on a positive note is the good old L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black. This mascara is cheap. This actually I got for $2.50 at Big Lot, so I don't know if that means it's not in stores anymore, but it's just a nice wand, a nice solid regular bristled wand, not too long, not too thick. Uh, the formulation, it's not dripping. It doesn't goop up all over the place. The wand itself, uh, the stick here is clean. Excuse me, is clean. There's no buildup over here. I mean, this is just old school, traditional drugstore mascara, really black. It just builds a solid set of lashes for you it's not you know it didn't give me like crazy length and create you know this and that but it's just i could use this with other mascaras i could use it on its own i could layer it it didn't get crunchy it was easy to take off this is a great 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 mascara so that's it guys that's it just a few mascaras but those are all the mascaras i used in 2015 you guys i'm using it my stuff so i hope you enjoyed that let me know in the comments down below your favorite mascaras what you guys love if you've tried any of these again if i'm saying i don't love something it doesn't mean it's a crap product all the way around everyone's ma everyone's mascaras everyone's lashes are different mine are just regular they don't point down they're not super long or short they're not super curled or straight i have just regular standard eyelashes um and my preferences change over time. However, right now I want something that's lengthening and thickening and everything because I don't wear false lashes. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next video. Stay beautiful and stay blessed. Bye.